three years, since he won a World Cup race. Now a small gap behind Vladovsky. or legs today? Oh, I mean, that last little climb before the last corner to the finish line, it's still legs. Oh, Take the lead! I don't believe it! Murat leads into this last turn, just as the set to come now. Can he overtake him? And then I knew it's still a long, it's a long uh, finish line. And if you get into the draft, it's going to be hard for the front one. Max Liberon looked in so much trouble and coming out as he goes. Here comes Max Liberon running for the line. Shell trying to go with him. Jack has got nothing. Here they come. Who's it going to be? Now move to our first round in Europe. We're in the southwest corner of Germany. Yeah, although he'd come through from the 11th row and he did it in 2021. You'd think his legs will be feeling a lot fresher this year. Right, looks like Matthias rear flat. Yes, for Matthias. Yes, yeah. That's why the foot went down. Oh, yep, what a shame yep. then, for Matthias Fluckiger. Right. I'm actually surprised we haven't seen more punches. Does <laughs> oh, Nino goes. So Nino attacking, Daskulu trying to go with him, as does Karan. Daskulu mounted by World Cup cross country Olympic win on the back wheel. Showing us why he's the Olympic champion. It's going to be Nino Pinkoff today. We'll see him go again in Novia Mesto next weekend. Vlad Daskulu comes across the line in third. Kigger's made it, he's there. Can he stay there though on this climb? But it's Nino setting the pace, and to me that is interesting. Nino himself taking it to Pitcock today. Yeah, I was uh, just trying to put the others under pressure, also in the descent, to force them to do mistakes, but then I was the only one that, that did the mistake and they had a flat. Oh no, Shell has got flat rear! What a shame! That's a shame. Oh, that is a shame! Look at the time he's losing now. You're not going to pull that back now. No, and he knows it. And there's nothing he can do. Just got to stand there. It's never nice to stand there, but yeah, you just try to stay as cool as possible. At least uh, drink a bit. Mentally, I think I'd be finished, but I don't think I'd even be able to carry on. And then uh, it's all about chasing back. and. Uh... But there is a huge amount of damage has been done. First, I just had like the... back towards the front of this race. He is freaking her right now. Leading. I'm glad I didn't pay for a full seat this afternoon because I'm only using the very edge of it. Cooper's joining them, but look at that. I was maybe thinking, yeah, maybe the top five if everything goes well. He's made it! Oh my goodness! It took him 28 minutes of all out pedaling to get him back onto that leading group. 28 minutes of pain. This is why Nino Scherter is the greatest man in my race that there's ever been. That's getting out of front, looking and going. Shannon trying to go with him. Wow, blood that's Tom Pinkock comes alongside. Back it's gonna be Tom Pitcock at the last moment. Tom Pitcock back to back World Cup wins, and he worked for that one. Incredible stuff from Pitcock, the Olympic 
champion winning again in Novia Mesto. Daskalu came so close to Romania's first World Cup win. Nino Scherner, what a ride for the world champion. You've got to respect that. Oh, and there's more action behind. Cooper comes across to get fourth, ahead of Happily, blocking a sixth in the end. And actually, the story of the weekend, Nino Scherzer coming back from 17th to a third place podium after an incredible ride following a flat tyre. You just couldn't make this up. And we're about to go racing here. In Leo Gag, Austria, we're underway then. Cooper on the left, the picture in the white, looking like he's coming to the front. Haven't seen, he moves over to the centre and gets the whole shine of this first and turn. Duskley also a good start into the descent. Sure. Packing perhaps a little bit more suspension travel than a lot of the other riders. Opening up a few bike lengths with ease. Oh. Down through the tree roots, they come again. What Matthias can do here in this descent. So Hathley has got a gap now on Daskilu. And nearly around to the end of this lap three then. Daskilu stuck right to him though. Different lines yeah. here. Ooh, steep bump for Matthias. Up the inside there. It's all to fight for it. There's a good few spots around here. Sure, trying to break records. Flukiga would love another perfect win. Between oh. these two now. Matthias Flukiga is gonna do it. There's something about this place he likes. Matthias Flukiga has beaten the world champion here today to take back to back perfect weekends in Leogang, Austria. He's done it again. The win on Giant Friday night short track. The win in cross country Olympic today. Scherter has to say second best, but Matthias Flukiga delivers here in Leogang. Let's go racing in Lenza Heider then. But it's sure to the number one plate, the series leader at the front at the moment, happily there in the lime green. Matthias, he's a bit further down. Look at this from Scherter on the opening start lap. We're not even on lap one proper. And Scherter is just testing everyone. There's Matthias Flickiger, there he comes. He's coming. Look at the amount of riders he's just overtaken where he's at. He's gonna let Nino know he's there, right? Yeah, yeah, probably he will overtake him very shortly. Nino Scherzer versus Matthias Flukiger part, I don't know what. But if you remember last year here, Scherzer, I mean, it wasn't, didn't sit very well. He went up the inside of it. You know, and Matthias Flukiger is not going to have forgotten that. Well, Vlad Daskula has crashed. Let's hope he's okay then. Oh, look at this, interesting. So the two Swiss have got away. And now it's Scherzer giving it to Matthias Flukiger. And he's not far off Brido, look at this. Brido, no World Cup wins. Flukiger, five World Cup wins. Shirt has got 33 of them, can you believe? One lap to go in Lenza Haider. Shirt well there, will it be a Swiss winner this afternoon? Look at this, Shirt is driving it. Brido goes to the front, oh, I don't believe it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Here comes Nino around the outside. And he's spreading all out. Flukiger going with him. Brido as well. Flukiger goes up the inside of him. And it's Flukiger who's going to be first into this big second wooded loop now. Straight back to the front there, Nino. Brido just back a few bike lengths now with Hathaly. Flukiger looking like he was making a move up the inside there. But it's hard. What? Brido is now leading it. Flukiger shaking his head in pursuit. And Scher looking like he might be out of this one. It's Luca Brano lining up then. Brano sprinting, happily going with him. Luca Brano happily trying to go around the outside. But it's going to be Luca Brano that takes his first World Cup win at the last closing stages of this race in Lenza Heider. I did not see that coming. Oh my goodness me, what just happened? Nino Scherner across the line in four. And that race has just ended in the most dramatic of fashions.
Pandemonium. We want a drama Pandora next week because, well, it's not a huge amount of time to recover, but I'm pretty sure Nino Scherter is going to be hungrier than ever when it comes to securing that 34th World Cup win and breaking a couple of records too. We'll see you there. Harder than all the rest. We are go, go, go in Andorra then as they sprint towards this first turn out. Vlad Daskilu slipping a pedal and falling back into the pack. And start, it's important, it's very important, the riders say no that. And it's just to take it to everyone. To see the dust, it will affect the riders definitely today. Looks like Nino is not so good today. No, I agree with you. Race settling down a little bit now. Yep, after the fast start of Viktor Koretsky. Just backing it off a touch. So Brido, last week's winner now joining the first three. A group of four with a fair gap back to the next man. The table as he can from today, but definitely not his best Nino today. A long way off it. Can he ride himself back into this race? This time it's Saru setting the pace up here. Koretsky going with him. As he just danced the big wall. Look at the crowd going wild for Valero as he comes up here. Hathalie now back in 29th. Her only, yeah, right back there with his teammate, Avancini. It is a massive day for the overall standings, of course, with the test looking around. Hathalie having a bad day. But Koretsky. Boy, he's feeling strong this afternoon. The big man from Spain certainly putting the heart on everyone now, forcing the pace. What brutal temperature outside today. Well, 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 Scherzer sure, then riding his way back into this race. What a savage human being Nino Scherzer is. Even on the off days, he will never give up, never quit this man. Yeah, honing him. Here he is. Here he comes. Yep. Getting closer and closer. And now it's Daskulu that ups the pace. You're perhaps feeling the presence of Scher getting ever closer. He can't let him get yeah, back no, in the no, game. No, no. It's too dangerous. It is, yeah, yeah. This last lap's gonna be spectacular. And it's Daskulu now with a gap back to Luca Brido. When uh, was uh, one lap to go, I tried an attack. I was leading with a little gap, but then on that point. now takes the lead. He has something with his bike. I had to stop to put my shift there, like on the right position, and then my wheel was almost, uh, you know, touching on the frame. It's so hard to accept this one. Now Scherter is going to try and swallow up the Romanian. What a shame. Then for Vlad Daskilo, I can't believe it. But it's going to be this man again, pulling off another Italian job here in the Pyrenees. Mamma mia, Luca Brado wins Andorra. Back-to-back -back World Cup wins for the Italian. Unbelievable. Valero comes so close to winning his first World Cup race, equaling his best ever World Cup finish for second place. What a ride from Nino Scherter, a punch of the air from him. Not his best weekend, but he fouled through. Edo recording back-to-back -back World Cup victories and a great ride for David Valera Serrano. Nino Scherter in third place, making big moves in the overall, especially since Matthias Flueger wasn't riding. That's going to extend the gap as we head to Snowshoe. It's been unbelievable. Snowshoe. And we are go then in the US of A as they charge up through the village centre here. Daskalu goes through in the blue, yellow and red kit a little bit further back. This is the leading group, a big group still. Levens is in that group. Look at the puddles that have formed on this track path. There's so much water yeah. here on the track. It's a high pace being set by Alan Hathley at the moment. Blevins. The only rider looking like he can actually go with...
Fast down there, the pair of them. Hathley over the bar. And now Blevins has got big lead in this race. The crowd absolutely loving it. And Hathley, but dropping back now, nearly 50 seconds back now for the South African. So, I think Blevins has got a puncher. He was making signal. Yeah. Blevins with a rear flat, so more drama in this race. Brido inherits the lead again. Blevins patiently won okay, this, so Blevins has definitely got the legs with him a day as he did on Friday. It's now Blevins who is on third place, Schwarz Power on fourth. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you gotta smile in a race like that, and I was having a lot of fun on the descent out there too. The fans are gonna love that, seeing Christopher Blevins back in the leading pack. There's Valero, eighth place at the moment for him. He might come back to the lead still. Yes. Yeah, he is coming at a pace here. Look at this. Valero, only 10 seconds back now off that leading pack. Is he going to play his part on the last lap? Wow, Valero. Incredible. Impressive. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be interesting this last lap. Look at that. Then. Colombo's coming to the front. Oh, Colombo ran down. So Colombo's crashed. Ah. And here we go again. And Caron now to the front. Valero around the outside as well. Neither of these two have won a World Cup race. Karan trying to stay with him. The big Karan respond. I'm not sure he can. It's a good gap from Valero to second place now. No one else even in it. But it's going to be the big figure of David Valero then. Coming up to the line here in the US of A to take his first ever World Cup cross country win. Valero takes it here in snowshoe. Titsuo and Karan across the line in second place. And a sprint finish for third. And it goes a photo finish. I think it was Brido. Cool scenes, incredible weather, and definitely the unexpected met us here in Snowshoe USA. David Valera Serrano recording his first ever World Cup win. Luca Bredo back on the podium, and Tito and Carod with his best ever performance at a World. It's round eight of the Mercedes-Benz UCI Cross Country World Cup, and wow, haven't we had... Let's go, go, go then, here we are! With the riders driving hard on his first climb here. Dino just looking content to be sat back a little bit at the moment. Things are going to get a lot more serious as they head into the trees, though. Yeah, and at first, long climb start. Yeah. Attacking hard up there, Karod, no problem for him then. Powering his way up there. But a good gap already. Tatterley loses the back just like that. Scherzer sure backing around 15th place at the moment. Here's the chasing group. Columbus. And still, no one really looking that bothered about chasing him. Wow, well, Joy, a small problem for him. I don't know what it is. Oh, his pedal has actually come off. Colombo decided it might be time to push here in this race now. Look at Scherzer in the white. Going past Valero. Whoa, Heavily, oh. a crash here. And you see how slippery it is yeah. and how difficult it is to manage it on your bike. So Hathley, down in 15th now. Scherter goes to the front of this chasing pack now. But it's Garon ever closer to that finish line here today. Yeah, he's down, I think, Mark. Yep. And there's Nino's mistake. Yep. So he's getting pitched off that rock section. And an attack for Colombo further up. Valero trying to go with him. Second and third there, Colombo. Valero. Shatter. Giving it everything to go with him. Yep. But Corona smile. He's allowing himself a smile. It's been a long time coming for T. wins his first elite cross country World Cup race. Corona has done it here in Canada. Powering away. I don't know. On four place. Wow, well, where's Brido come from and do that? So Colombo comes up to take his best ever elite World Cup finish. Valero, last week's winner, comes across the line in third place. Fourth place is going to go Luca Brido. De Freudmann in fifth. Shirt up. Not getting on the podium. Tito and Perrod with almost two minutes ahead of the rest of the field. Nino Scherter picks up a very important sixth ahead of Alan Hatherley with the overall in mind. 
And a BMC 1-2 to close out what's been an epic weekend of racing here in Canada. And it doesn't stop there, we have one round left. Today to take his record breaking, incredible eighth overall World Cup title. The last race of 2022, the last World Cup is underway here. Shouted not getting the best of starts. And always high pace, even on the start loop on those first few laps. All out from these riders as they jostle for position. Thick plumes of dust on these downhills, incredibly dry air. Especially in the forest, there. Trying to go with him. So we're missing Nino Schurter. We are missing Nino Schurter at the moment. Karad can just effortlessly open up a few more bike lengths again. Fast these descents. Look at the pace of him down here. The man coming towards us with a number one plate will take his eighth title if things stay as they are. But Scherz working now, he's trying to bring that gap down. Interesting race so far. Now what are they going to do about Tichu and Karan? That's the next question. Yep. Looking incredibly composed at the top here. Great to see there's so many people watching these World Cups again. Line of the track, thick all the way around it. Can Scherter close the gap down? He's trying and pushing hard. Come back to the front. French national champion out front. Making it look easy at the moment, Mark. Oh, Saru, giving it some on this climb, but unable at the moment to make any inroads really on the leading man. They're not gaining time. I'm not sure about Nino Schurter. Maybe his main goal is to take the title. Yeah, he needs a top six finish. Oh, getting a bit of a swap on there on that climb, actually because it's so much steeper than it looks. Cost him two places. Yeah. And he feels the victory. Yeah, he can see it. He can feel it. So Scherr, sure, opening up a gap now to Jordan Saru. And it's going to be this man taking his second ever cross-country Olympic win. Tituan Karan on top in Varisola, Italy. Taking his eighth overall World Cup title. Scherta puts it into the record books. The only man to take eight World Cup overall titles. It's ridiculous. A great ride for Jordan Saru as well. One today, it's it's perfect. I can't believe it. Yeah, I think we need to thank you, you guys, Red Bull TV. You broke our sport to a next level. Broke our sport to life. So you guys did an amazing job. Thanks for everything. It's been an amazing...